Well, good afternoon, everybody. Happy Thursday to you. Bill O'Leary coming to you live uh, from uh, Legacy Planning Law Group, uh, estate planning, elder law, probate attorney. Uh, and uh, again, as I said, coming to you live on this Thursday, and it's part of um, uh, a weekly series uh, where I go live. I, we call it our Thirsty Thursday series, where each week I, I go live and talk about a different topic that I see in, in uh, my uh, law practice. So if you're thirsting for knowledge, you've come to the right place. So the topic for today is when, when to uh, avoid naming a trust as a beneficiary of a retirement plan, okay? So look, naming a trust as a beneficiary of your retirement plan can be a good idea. It really can, we do quite a bit of that kind of planning, but it can present an issue. The issue is if, uh, if, if possibly a creditor that you have that you did not take care of uh, by way of paying the bill, after you die, they may come after your estate. So look, there are, as I said, a lot of good reasons to name a trust as a beneficiary of a retirement plan, whether it's a, <clears throat> an IRA, a 401k, 403b, um, TSP, that sort of thing. If the IRA beneficiary is young, let's say disabled, or maybe for some other uh, reasons, maybe they shouldn't be managing their um, uh, assets in, in a good way, they're, they're not good with money, the trust can provide that kind of management and protection. Maybe people in a second marriage or relationship may want the spouse or partner to benefit from the funds after they die for sure, but not uh, allowing them to be able to deplete <clears throat> the account and then have nothing, let's say, to uh, ultimately go to the account holder's uh, children, okay? So what the trust can do is it can ensure that, but also provide protection for the beneficiaries protection against the beneficiary's creditors. And let's say parents of adult children who don't want the inherited retirement account lost to a, you know, a possible divorce by the child or they get into some sort of liability lawsuit, think car accident, they can use a trust as a way to protect the inherited IRA. But here's where the issue is. It's important to be mindful that the trust may not protect your retirement front funds from your own creditors if it's not done the right way, if it's not set up the right way. It really depends on how the trust and the beneficiary designation are set up. So let's talk about creditor protection for retirement plans. Your IRA here in Florida enjoys enormous creditor protection during your lifetime. So if you get sued, your IRA is protected under Florida law. That's good. But it only that protection only lasts during your lifetime. So uh, that protection, protection from your creditor, ends at your death. So it does not apply to an inherited IRAs, whether that's an IRA that you pass on to family members that they inherit, or maybe let's say an IRA that you inherit from let's say mom and dad. Inherited IRAs are subject to the claims of the inherited beneficiaries' creditors. Uh, under a general federal law, although thankfully in Florida we have a statute that does protect the inherited IRAs. But understand that beneficiaries are not going to be liable for your debts, okay? So if your retirement plans pass directly to them, then the assets will be protected, okay, from their debts. The question is whether it's protected from your debts, and it, and it really depends, okay? So let's say you give an individual um, uh, at your death, let's say $400,000, okay? Um, and But you also have $400,000 in unpaid bills and your total estate's $500,000. Maybe there's a house with a market value of 250, a savings account, let's say of 100, just as an example, and retirement plans holding 150. If the retirement plans are paid directly to the individual heirs, they will not be subject to their debts, the money, okay? The rest of the assets will have to go to pay off debts, the rest of the assets that you have, leaving nothing in the estate for your heirs, but also leaving the creditors short $50,000. Now, what if instead you had the IRAs that in the beneficiary designation were not paid directly to an individual, but were made payable to your tr trust, let's say a revocable living trust, okay? At that point, in that situation, the money in the IRA may very well be subject to the claims of your creditors at your death. And if there are not enough funds in your, your estate, your probate estate, to pay those, those debts, Florida allows the creditors to go after your revocable trust. In fact, there was a recent court case in the state of Kansas that ruled 
that the right of uh, a creditor to go after a decedent's revocable trust after death, it applied to an IRA that was payable to the trust. So there's no reason to think <clears throat> that other courts will not follow suit uh, with that ruling. So it's important to work with an experienced estate lawyer to make sure you don't make this mistake, okay? So how, how, how not to make the mistake? Don't designate your revocable trust as the beneficiary of your IRA. If you're gonna if, and name a trust because you like the benefits of a trust to protect, uh, let's say a child's inherit, inherited IRA, use an irrevocable trust, okay? And, and uh, that's something that uh, I talk to clients about all the time. So look, if your debts exceed your non-retirement plan assets, the, the assets that are not part of your retirement plans, don't make your retirement plan payable to your revocable trust either make it payable directly to the beneficiaries or, again, if you think a trust is a good idea, and we often do, have it paid to a trust that is irrevocable at your death. So if you'd like to know a little bit more about uh, when to avoid naming a trust as the beneficiary of a retirement plan, and if you'd like to know how we can help, we would love, we'd love to talk to you. So go ahead, take that first baby step. Uh, schedule a, a phone call with us, a, 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 an initial, what we call discovery phone call, okay, where we have a chance to start a conversation. It's really easy. We make it very easy to do that. Just go to our website, LegacyPlanningLawGroup.com, find the, the, the button on the homepage that says book your free call. It'll take you uh, to our booking calendar. Just pick the day and time that works for you, okay? Again, this call, this 15-minute uh, discovery phone call is complimentary. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd ask that you like it. And so, in closing, I hope you've enjoyed this, this talk, which uh, I've called When to Avoid Naming a Trust as the Beneficiary of a Retirement Plan. I plan on giving another Facebook Live talk um, again next Thursday at about this same time. So, if you are thirsty for knowledge, we'll quench your thirst. So, uh, this is Bill O'Leary. I'm going to be signing off for now. Go make it a great day and a better world.